Right, hi. Uh, so this is a quick video demo on um, how to set your auto timer, heating auto timer on and off. Um, so you don't have to all the time um, turn your heating on and off manually. Now, um, just a quick uh, look into the style. So as you can see, the style has got um, two clocks. So there is 12, 3, 6, 9. Now that is the actual clock. Um, currently, uh, the time on my phone in, uh, in my room is 11.15 and that's the exact time which is showing here on this dial as well. So it's 11.15, quarter past 11. Now if you notice outside of this dial, um, there is 24 hours clock. So starting from 1, uh, so that's 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, it goes anti-clockwise. Now that is the auto timers. You, all you need to do is you need to just um, make sure that this clock is correct, the internal clock, and the outside dial, then you need to basically look for that error. So that is your exact time. So if you notice, the time is 11.15 and that pointer is at 11.15 as well. So after that, it will go to 12 and 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., and so on and so forth. So yeah, as I said, just a really quick one. The internal timer should be exact. It should be um, in sync with your um, time uh, on the clock. So it's 11.15 and then you need to set. So these bars um, will define whether the heating should be turned on or off. If you notice when I switched it off, the heating has been switched off and but symbol is still blowing, um, uh, uh, blinking on my screen it will go off in a minute if I don't turn it back um, so if I want to say switch on my heating between 11 and 12 uh, and so that's what I need to do just um, turn them on from 11 to 12 almost and the next heating will be switched on from 1 to 2 uh, when obviously that this time it will go to one o'clock. This will switch on, uh, switch on as well after that. Um, so if I want to switch on between four and five, all I need to do is just to, um, so this is a one bar, I think indicates about 15 minutes. So you just need to press them here. Uh, then I want to say switch on between seven and eight or seven to nine for instance for two hours so this is what I need to do um, and really important make sure your dial is correct uh, so this is your heating dial heating um, timer and so you just need to make sure it's not off or on it should be on the um, clock button now if you switch it to the on button that means it, your heating will switch on for the all, all the time until you switch it off or you um, when you put it on the clock then it will just follow the instructions of your dial whatever uh, timing you have for the dial uh, have on the dial there so if i say want to switch on heating between four and uh, six o'clock in the morning i will switch on these four and then these four as well so yeah that will so now this currently means that my heating is uh, currently on which is 11 20 almost um, then it will switch on between 1 to 2 and then 4 to 5 p.m. and then 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, and then 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. and then I can switch this so yeah just be careful because sometimes that because this is a really moving dial so it can basically change your timer um, quite quickly and it's it's quite um, sensitive so in that case uh, I'll just double check so if on my clock it's still about 19 past uh, or 20 past 11 I will move this all the way down to uh, okay so I need to find this 11 here. so that 11 should sit here at this point and at the same time this timer will guide you as well 
so that's 11 and here is 11 a.m. as well because remember we are not looking at uh, this the 11 a.m. will also appear when the 23 comes here which is 11 p.m. but we are looking for 11 a.m. so for 11 a.m. yeah so it's roughly around yeah 20 past uh, 25 past so yeah uh, yeah hope it helps if there's any question just put in the comment